Welcome to Lions Live. Today, we're giving you the rundown on LHS sports and who you can be cheering for in the upcoming weeks. We interviewed the crew behind the scenes to hear the craziest cleaning stories. Finally, cheer tryouts are over, and we have the inside scoop of a newbie's perspective from members of our Lions Live team. You don't want to miss it. All of this and more today on Lions Live. Good morning, Lions. I'm Mallory Lester. And I'm Drew Dunson. We begin today with the highlights from last week's Best Buddies theme days and a new exciting event to be on the lookout for. Brayden Vickery and Emily Alvarado have more on this. Good morning, Lions. Last week, LHS participated in Inclusion Week, put on by the Best Buddies program. Each day, students were encouraged to dress up for different themes that all pointed back to a central message, inclusion. From friendship ties us together to wild about inclusion, students had a blast wearing fun outfits while contributing to this important cause, making awesome friendships. That's right, Brayden. And the Best Buddies festivities are just getting started. This Saturday, April 1st, the Buddies will be hosting their first color run here at LHS. The registration fee to run is $5 and all proceeds will go towards Best Buddies and their projects throughout the school. Check-in is at 9 a.m. and we hope to see you there. That's all for your school news. I'm Brayden Vickery. And I'm Emily Alvarado. Back to you, Drew. Thanks, Emily. Personally, I can't wait for the color run. Me either, but I might be walking. Be sure to sign up with Mrs. Foster this week for more information. Speaking of running, we've had a great few weeks for athletics at the high school, and this week brings district competitions for many teams. From track to soccer to golf, here's Gage Morris with Lions Sports. What is up, Livingston? I'm Gage Morris, here with all your sports news. First off, last Thursday, LHS did great at their track meet. Placings were taken by Bowers, Valderez, Pace, Lazama, Walker, Hathaway, Smith, Richardson, Peters, Ward, Wilson, Fleetwood, Carsos, Randolph, Souza, Mays, Ebony, Garrett, Morris, Ganser, Starr, Mendiola, and Atkinson. Catch the Lions track and field team this Thursday for their next meet. Way to go, Lions! Last Friday, boys soccer won their bi-district playoff game 2-1. Their next playoff game is tomorrow, Tuesday, March 28th at Madisonville. The girls soccer team unfortunately fell short in their playoff game, but we are so proud of them for all their hard work and being district champs this season. Also, last Friday, the LHS softball team clutched a win against Plendora 11-8. The baseball team unfortunately lost 7-8 in a close match after a fog delay that pushed their game back to Saturday. In my opinion though, psh, that's not real. Tomorrow, the Lions will take on Hampshire Finette at home. Pack the stands, Lions. This week, be on the lookout for results from our golf and tennis teams as they travel to their district competitions. Catch us back next time at Lions Live to hear all the ways you can be cheering on the Lions in the coming weeks. I'm Gage, and that's all for sports. Go Lions! Thanks, Gage. Be sure to keep checking in with us to hear the latest in sports news. Now, LHS is an awesome campus, and it takes a lot of people to make it look nice and run smoothly. From cafeteria workers to admin, we have many adults at the high school that work hard to keep our school running. This week, we sent Gus Bruning into the halls to catch up with the crew that keeps our school clean, the janitors. What is the worst mess you've ever had to pick up? Poop. It's a tie between poop and throw up. <laughs> este, una de las cosas peores para limpiar es cuando hay chicles, gomas, goon, en los, en the table. Oh, yes. Who has the cleanest room? I'm going to say Miss Watson. Miss Myers. All right. El hall mm -hmm. A mm -hmm. is better. Right now. Okay. Right now. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a, the teacher lunch here. The office. Oh, really? mm -hmm. Whose room is always the dirtiest? <laughs> you gotta um, be honest. I could say upstairs on D Hall, the right. science. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he put me on spot for the dirtiest room. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear him saying that? 
the art room. All right. Upstairs. Algebra Hub. All right, there we go. Well, that was informative. Back to you, Mallory. Thanks, Gus. Those are some pretty interesting stories. For sure. I'm just glad that our broadcast room wasn't on the list of dirtiest classrooms. Next, cheer tryouts have just finished here at the high school. Speaking as a former cheerleader myself, tryouts can be difficult and fast-paced. Each applicant is required to learn five pieces of material over the course of just three days. We here at Lions Live wanted to see for ourselves the realities of cheer tryouts from an inside perspective. So we sent in some of our own. Mackenzie Gober and Jimena Hernandez are seniors who have no prior cheer experience. We threw them into the deep end this week to see the good, the bad, and the backflips that come with cheerleading. I'm so excited to make some memories. <laughs> I'm excited to see the process of how cheer tryouts work. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited. What if we're like actually good? Yeah. Like, well, you see, I had a dream one time. I'm just kidding. I don't know. So, like, what's your main, what's your main extracurricular? Like, what do you do most? Choir. Uh, choir and band. Oh yeah, and theater. And theater. Now you do cheer. Yes. Now we and are cheerleaders. And now we're cheerleaders. No, we want no, to do we it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't even touch my <laughs> Left turkey, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Wait, do I have to do the left one? Two? What's the third one? How do you do that? Okay, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there's these two theater girls that are trying out. I don't, I don't really know what they're doing. I think one of them plays like the clarinet. So how'd you do yesterday? Yesterday was super fun, and I definitely underestimated though how kind of difficult it was remembering the words to the cheers because I forgot all of them. What do you think about the other girls trying out? They're doing very well, a little better than me, but yesterday I think I ate some of them up by a lot. Uh, what do you think about some of the other girls trying out? I think some of the other girls trying out are cool, but also not that cool. I don't know. Honestly, I don't even know why they're here. They're not that good. <laughs> I honestly don't know why they came because they already know that we're gonna be better than them. Really good. They can get the cheers down really fast. They really should have tried over cheer. It was a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of underestimated cheer tryouts.
lions. Thanks guys, that was pretty impressive. Absolutely, and it looks like they had a lot of fun. That's all we have for you today. Make sure to keep checking back with the LASD YouTube and Facebook page for your latest Livingston news. From all of us here at Lions Live, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.